Welcome to Arrow in Your Head Stadium in Carter City, Misery, home of the Creeps. Anyone else notice the similarities to the Creeps fans and the Packers fans? Looks like they're wearing Swiss cheese foam heads, but their heads are real, and they got real holes in them. Arrow in Your Head Stadium fans are not only the dumbest fans in the NFL, they're also the most literal. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Carolina Panzers battle the Carcass City Creeps. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I'm scared of Shimmer. I am a hell of a fellow. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. He runs it for three. <laughs> Second down and seven. Hot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. Ah, and the defense jumps up. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, uh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And get the kicker's job in half? They just be the kick is good. <laughs> As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. 
Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. starting to soften up the defense. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. Second down and ten. That's about a three-yard pickup. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Interception, and that's how you stop an offense. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. And I'm two fifths into this bottle of scotch. Boom! First and ten. Full man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And they run it for a couple of yards. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot Looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league, we're murdered. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I pictured that, uh, well, Whoa. the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Oh. <laughs> 
Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have, and he's running like a moose right now. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. First and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. And that's another turnover for the defense. And he just slipped away like a. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's a warp speed dirty trick. It's, oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to flop it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh. uh, going in circles. <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Now I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just nailed on about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. So at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Great play by 
of the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why right, that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's holy crap. He runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. You are dead in some fun of your time. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And the defense is on his heels. Unbelievable. He scores. This guy's a game. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stuff him into the ground. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. You don't know. You don't know. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The quarterback has had enough and caused a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Mogren, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third and two. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, give me an example song. Watch out where the Huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. Look at fudge ice cream sandwiches. Man, did it taste so good? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and ten. <laughs> Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Second down and a lot. 
If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta... Uh... <clears throat> Defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Uh, it's complicated. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't wrong in my... Oh, now the offense is getting kills? Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? I'll make the oh, sure. oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger pick. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over to... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out on the field now. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. You want to do this for your time? The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we off, Grim? Aren't we off? Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. You can't keep a good mutant down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And that's another 
turnover for the defense. Give him a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. right there folks third down and the QB is saying his prayers and that's an incomplete pass looks like the defense got away with that one there uh, they allow the band to receive it like that he could get hurt boring but smart time to punt whoa whoa you can't say that on the radio Should move him back nicely. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Eight. And he held on to that one for a first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Just one dirt and some butter dogs tired. Third down and, well, good luck. Point with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have an intercept. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 10. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. You're like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football. He gets away in a hurry. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. And with another pick, the 
QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is... Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Brex. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Brex. You're an idiot. Nicely done for a first down with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. But it's not really a run. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. <laughs> the offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. the punt. What a pussy. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Third and four. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Brick. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chimp wearing a wig. The offense is down to their last surviving lineman. He's all alone out there, and when he dies, they'll have to forfeit. I know what it's like to be alone. I went to group therapy once to deal with loneliness, but no one else showed up. And it's first and ten. Hot, one, hot two, hot three. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two. whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Now there are 
there's some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And he's running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Second down and long. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why I'm at. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Well, they went for the easy points and ended up with nothing. That's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. And here comes the extra point attempt. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. First and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> the carcass city creeps pulverize the opposition into a bloody mess. They win this one by forfeit. Ah, oh, they murderized them, Grim. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. An alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Uh, how about if, how about if you shut the hell up right now and we go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say? with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League.
Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.